Andre has tweeted his decks. What we got here? Rogies. Arne Broken Brow Grill. Snow Grill. <clears throat> Palaka Predation Rakdos. Is it gamer? Oh dear, oh dear. Alright, we're not banning that, that's for sure. Sultai with Eugeners. Alright, we're banning Sultai. And we're banning. What else do we ban, guys, with our decks here? So today I ban one first. Oh, and then he bans two. So our first ban is easy, Sultai. Not playing against Sultai. Yeah, I ban Sultai. Classic. <clears throat> Rogues ban? I, I, why would I ban rogues? Did I've got Naya Rakdos, Jund Food, Mono Green, and Sultai. Rogues a free win. Let me get a coffee while Andre decides his two bans. So we got rid of Sultai, so now we have rogues, Gruul, Rakdos, and is it remaining? Huh? Hmm. No! Rakdos and Jund banned. Fuck! I needed those decks. What the hell, man? So we get to play Sultai, huh? So we're playing Sultai, Mono Green, and Naya. <clears throat> Wait, what, what do I ban now? We play Naya, Mono Green, and Sultai. Naya, Mono Green, and Sotai. Ban Rakdos? I don't know. Did I, have, I think I have to ban Ezra or Rogues now. Yeah, maybe not. I, I guess I have, two, I have two good matchups against those two decks, one bad. So against Rogues, I've got two good, one bad. Against Gruul, I've got... It's kind of three medium matchups, honestly. Against Rakdos, I have two bad, one good. So I think I'm supposed to ban Rakdos, but that leaves my Sultai pick, and it's just shit. God damn it. <clears throat> we have to ban Rakdos, right? It has to be Rakdos that rip. <clears throat> Sultai can at least compete against rogues, which is fine. I'm just, done, I've done the same bans two days in a row. Outdrafted? I wasn't outdrafted though. I don't think we're outdrafted. We have Sultai with one good matchup. We have Mono Green with two good matchups and Naya with two good matchups. I think we I think I actually think we're very slightly ahead on the draft here. Okay, so we can start with Naya or Mono green. Just anything but Sultai. I need to wait until uh, Rogues or as it has been played and then I can play Sultai. I'm gonna go mono green first. Okay, not rogues. So it's it's is it or or what? Is it or grill? I'll take is it though. That this motherfucker is on the play every time, man. 
Is he even on the play all four matches so far? I think so, right? Lucky son of a gun. That is the benefits of getting in the MPL. Just on the play all day, baby. No, no, you're right. I, I was on the I was on the play yesterday actually. Uh, Naya versus Rogues. <clears throat> okay, still got no information by the way. Could be as a could be grill. Could be grill. All right, this is actually bad for us. This is very bad for us, actually. We're on the draw here in a in a reasonably fair matchup. If anything, I would give the advantage to Ondredge in this matchup. Dude, I can't believe he banned Junfid. What a prick. I was so excited to play some Junfid. Alright, chat, after the stream, we're gonna after the stream. After the battle versus Andre, we'll play some Junt. <clears throat> Mono Green can win against Grow? Yeah, no, I mean it's a it's a reasonably fair matchup, right? That's fine. <laughs> a nice fair and balanced matchup here. Imagine having four henges, yet having no henges. So we can end step preserver, play mammoth, make a four four. Or we can just play mammoth into these two. I think we tempo. Maximum tempo. Alright, see, so I mean, he obviously is going to double block one of my creatures here, but. <sighs> Did I kill that thing? Why is it even in his deck, man? What's going on here? It's not doing anything special. <clears throat> I think giving them the double block is fine to push damage, man. I still don't know what I'm killing, though. I, I don't think I'm scared of this. Change Arnie base power with one plus the greatest power among other creatures you control until end of turn. I just don't think I respect this chat. <clears throat> I don't think I respect that. Do you respect that? <clears throat> I am surprised that he blocked the love struck though, not the mammoth.
I think he should have blocked the man with Skiz and not the the love struck. Obviously, his hand was just terrible for that for the the way that game played out. Just endless hasters that can't actually attack. <clears throat> Doesn't feel too good. <clears throat> So no, no dragons, huh? No dragons. Another cleave, sideboard, Clothus, Crown Wars, Vivians, Oxes. What are we saying, chat? What are we going to turn here? Ram through it, obviously. <clears throat> So you could have four Ember Cleave, two Henge, three Akron Wars. <clears throat> Do we want our Vandals as well as our Gem Razors? We already have four Gem Razors. <clears throat> I mean, I can justify more Vandals, honestly. I can see it. Foreign clicks seems pretty useless. Turns off the Akron War only, but... Most of the time I actually can't attack or block, which is a scam. Cut to a preserver? I think so. So he's got what four four cleave, two henge, three a crone war, and we have four gem razors, two mass vandals. That should be okay. <clears throat> we don't want them all in our opening hand though, guys, I'll be honest. Vandal's gas. Vandal's huge card, man, but we we don't want it right now, huh? Okay. If I knew I was just going to draw mono forests, I would have kept my shambler, huh? Chat, chat, chat. He has Soul Seer in his sideboard, but I think we have to actually... I think I have to make a 0-0 zero, zero snake here. Grow my guy to a 5-5. Five, five. There's three Akron Wars. There's two Soul Seers, but... If I leave this as a 2-2 two, two play out, this 3-3 three, three Mammoth... This henge is one one snake. Well, it has to be a zero zero so I can play henge next turn, right? I th I th this could get mega punished, but I mean the other line can also get mega punished, right? This this line is less likely to get punished, which is good. <clears throat> we lose our preserver to Soul Seer or a Crow in War, but if we play the Mammoth out, 
I mean, we still lose our creatures to a Crowan War and Soul Seer, but also Fire Prophecy, also Bone Crusher Giant. <clears throat> Even a Shatter Skull Smashing could kill my Preserver, right? I mean, if we go to one, we go to one. There's no way Andre could possibly draw one of the four Ember Cleaves here. It's just, it's mathematically unlikely that he has one. What did I tell you guys? I knew it. <laughs> I was aware all along. Alright, now would be a great time to have a Masked Vandal. Or a Gem Rezzer. He had their Crone War, but that's the thing, right? So if I left this Preserver as a 2-2 and played the Mammoth last turn, a Crone War would still beat us, right? We, we would still lose to those cards. At least by pumping the Preserver to a 5-5, five five, we make it that he needs to have a Crone War or Soul Seer. Like, it makes Fire Prophecy not too great, you know? I wonder how many he's probably playing all it has to be playing all the Akron Wars, right? Vorin Clacks. The problem with Vorin Clacks is that it doesn't really do anything except turn off their Crone Wars, right? It's, it's actually quite. I'd say it's more likely that we can't even attack with the Vorin Clacks either. I mean, all he needs to have him play to have a good block against our Vorin Clacks is like a Love Struck Beast and a Tuta, you know? And then he can just double block it. It's so bad. It's way too easy for Gruul and, to be honest, for our deck, you know? Like, Vorinclex would be bad in a mirror as well. It's too easy for these big green creature decks to block Vorinclex. You just can't play it. Infinity, thanks for the 9 months, man. Burnbury, thanks for the 10 months. And Sev Border, thank you for the 6 months. Eliphas, thank you for the 11 months. Dot Butter, thanks for the 8 months. Cautious Kamikaze, thanks for the 2 months. Gemma, 87, thanks for the 13 months. Thank you, guys. I am, I'm now officially a streamer that misses no subs. Okay, man. It's, it be a keep. What hinge removal does he have? <clears throat> None. It's not that kick. Zero. What do we think about just brawling the Eddie here? Seems kinda awful, huh? Honestly it just seems shit to me.
Do it be good. I don't think so, man. We have three. We have three snow forests. So uh, at that point in the brawl, we'll make our love struck indestructible or whatever creature we use, right? <laughs> I mean, seriously, I don't need to draw a land though. We need a fucking land though. I think this match comes down to a land, guys. Because if we miss a land next turn, then he can accrue and war the love struck, huh? Huge! Big land! Absolutely massive land, guys. Woo! Should we offer a block on our 1-1 one -one here? I don't, like, a bl if, if he blocks that 1-1, one -one, I'm not even sure who that favours, man. It probably favours us more, I think. I don't mind that. It's not amazing for us. It's not terrible for Andre, but I think it favours us slightly more. So he'll, he'll what, cleave, he'll cleave the love struck beast, and then we gem raise our snake. Annoyingly that only puts him to one, huh? Why one, man? Fuck's sake. Why one? Doesn't it add power? Yeah, but you'll be able to block with the, the quest and beast, right? Because like, it's quite annoying that if, if I don't block with the Love Strut Beast, he might not even equip the cleave, right? And he might do something else with his turn. And we obviously want him to play the cleave. <laughs> mm -hmm. I, think, I think this is fine. Death touch trampo, but my my snake doesn't have death touch, man. <laughs> I mean, putting them to one is pretty good, though. But I would rather it was zero. I'm not happy about this being on one thing when I've got no creatures.
No a apia, pero... I think I had to block with Love Strip Beast, right? If I don't block with Love Strip Beast there, then he can just... He deals four, still has the cleave in the hand for, for the following turn and can do other things at this turn. I, I don't think he would cleave if I don't block, so... The fact they can't remove the hinge is probably just GG's. Well, I, I mean, he could have more cleaves, it could have a Crowing Wars, could have his own hinge, and I, I don't have any creatures. Hen hinge is only good if you've got creatures in your hand, man. <laughs> Otherwise, not, not so good. <clears throat> It looks like we're going to be the only video gamers in history who have ever played a hinge and not won the game. Sag. So just to confirm, he does have literally no ways to remove hinge, right? Because if so, I'll just play the other one. Play a hinge. I was just checking that he doesn't have any way to remove it. He doesn't. The Great Benched. Yeah, I mean, if we, like, I, I guess topping Vivian is okay. But if we top, like, a Brawl or a Ramthra or a Land or another Hench, I mean, we're going to lose. 100%. <clears throat> we might... We're in such a bad spot now that even if we draw a land, we may, even if we draw a creature, we might lose. Dude, how, how did he tap two lands at once? What the? How did he do that? Shift Q? <clears throat> okay chat, good luck to us in the eternal search for Magic the Gathering glory. We require a creature. Absolutely ridiculous, isn't it? Absolutely ridiculous. Mm -mm. Don't mind me just having the worst hinge of all time. I think he's more likely to play it as at first. Because <clears throat> Rogues is pretty good against both. But is it is it doesn't he doesn't want to play in uh, Naya versus is it? <clears throat> okay, Saj. Uh -uh. 
Sounds really awkward, but it's too good to mull, right? Dun, 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 dun. We are on the play, yeah? I could kill the crab there, but there's no way it's better than playing Love Struck. <clears throat> it's probably okay to kill the crab too, but setting up for like Henge or Cleave is kind of decent. Drown the Henge. Man, I, I don't know if Drown on Henge is actually even that bad for us. We get a swing for five. We've still got a cleave. <clears throat> Why didn't I ban rogues? I mean, rogues are not that good against my, my five decks, man. I had a Jund food. Rakdos, Naya, uh, Mono Green, and Sultai. I mean, Rogues is, I would say, unfavored in like at least three, maybe four of those five. Leave our hinge, guys. I don't actually care about the card draw from Henge. What I want is the mana that it gives me, huh? Def I think it is definitely Cleave. <clears throat> that get it gets us our second red source with two Bone Crusher Giants in hand. Seems way better. Especially when we're on like whatever the hell this is, a two turn clock or something. Yeah, that block was weird, I think.
Dude, this is like, this is the most important 1-1 one -one ever. We kind of lose if Andre has a removal spell, huh? Well, we got an attack off. I don't mind an attack here. Okay. Any blocks, lad? There is a chance he goes to one here with like one crab chump. Please go to one lad, please. I know you're not beating two bone daddies, so. Triple block? I mean, triple block is also fine for us, right? Because that will buy us a lot of turns. We still have 13 cards, and 13 cards go quite a long way if there's only... if there's zero crabs on board. Triple crab down. It's a good idea to cast the cleave, guys, and not the hinge, by the way. <sighs> okay. Alright, scald and hinge. We're cutting, uh, like, one of these, obviously. Or are we cutting both of them? So looks fine, right? A crow in war? No, we're not playing a crow in war, man. Rimrock, kind of whatever. I like Rimrock, dude. Rimrock, we've got a lot of 1-1s one in the deck, right? When Rimrock lets you trade up with the Thought Thieves and the Crabs. I, 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 this is one of the best matchups for Rimrock, I think. Like one of the best ones. I think we passage for a green. I actually have no white cards, huh? In the deck, so... <laughs> Don't need white mana. <clears throat> I 
Don't need any white mana. <laughs> Sideboard into Gruel, easy. A giant killer in the sideboard. I mean, I don't want giant killer against rogues. I'm definitely using Fire Prophecy on Loris, but am I, am I actually looting here? I'm not going to lie, I quite like my hand. Five, huh? Two heartless acts, huh? I kind of want to eat Luris to play around Agademes, but I want to eat my own creature from the graveyard because that will mean that when he plays the one drop, he won't be able to sack this wind robber. I think I have to risk Agademes for now. <clears throat> Take Luris. Now, I think because, because we're on exactly six cards, I have to eat from my own graveyard here. I mean, if he plays land Agademes to get Luris back, that would be annoying, but I mean, I can just kill it, right? Mm 
The stupid wind robber, man. I can't fucking kill it. <clears throat> okay, now I can. The rest of the time, if I try and kill it, he just needs like one of the the flash one drops, right, to wreck my removal spell. I mean, I guess we're oxen. Could the bone crusher hold up that, but. Stop milling me. Turklings. What are the planes for? The planes are for uh, the white cards that are now in my sideboard. Like Giant Killer and Scouts. Mel, yeah, uh, looks kind of bad right now, man. Good cards. I still think I play an adventure creature though. I think we play Bone Crusher, man. I have 25 cards left. I'm definitely either playing Love Struck or Bone Crusher this turn.
Next turn we can do Fire Prophecy and Smashing or Cleave. <coughs> Let's go Love Struck. Henge we do not need. <laughs> yeah, I think we're going to take over over the next couple of turns, but... I don't think we're going to have two turns, though. Mountain is good. Looks bad, huh? I mean, I don't expect this to resolve, but I, I need my cleave to resolve, so... That's fine, right? <clears throat> I think I'm willing to get one creature eaten here by a Thought Thief or an Enforcer just to get in one point of damage. I mean, that's, that was so weird, so I assume it's Agadim's, but I don't think Agadim's kills me in one turn. There's no Thought Thief in the graveyards. Nine mana, huh?
I think I need to feed him my innkeeper, man. <laughs> This gets countered and then I can play Uz, right? Actually Minekeeper did I. I just I, I don't think We're definitely dead to that, I think. <laughs> Why not go for the win? I think we get an extra turn here most of the time. Yeah. Alright, chat. This works literally 0% of the time. Maybe 0 0.1. Mm, 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 mm. Now he has a counter. I don't know, man. I don't think it's as simple as that. I don't think it's as simple as just saying, oh, he didn't have a counter, so he cast Cleave and he wins, and now, and now you just if you wait a turn, he has one. I think it's okay to play our creatures out there, because I do think we get another turn most of the time, like we did. And also, if his hand is filled with like counter spells, then just playing a bunch of creatures out can get us through as well. That's a really close one, man. <laughs> Play the game? I think we played that game decent. These fabled passages, man, they're so awful. Ba -da -da -ba -ba -ba. How was that over? I don't have any cards left in my deck, man. Not happy about losing a bone daddy here.
What an opener. It's pretty good. Not unbeatable, though. I don't think he'll block. Both of these cards are kind of bad. I don't know which one's the worst, though. I think Ox, right? That's a good one. Two mana hench, four mana sadly, but not the worst thing in the world. Oh, go on, tap yourself out, lad. For the boys. Tap yourself out one time. Whoa, 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 whoa. Rimrock, I'm not got red, man. <clears throat> I needed both my red for that. Assembly worker has been named. All right, we got a dub there. Dude, I am just, I have never been in my life more desperate for a piss. Never in my life. One sec. All right, chat, two, three, baby, let's go. This, now this final match. To be fair, Match three yesterday was like heavily in our favor and we just didn't draw very well, so we lost. We had Rack, like I was playing Rakdos against Gro. I think I win that match up most of the time, but now it's flipped. Now Andre has the good match three this time with, uh, is it Flash against Sultai? But to be fair, my version of Sultai is like slightly better against, is it, than the. The normal version or like the stock version we do have main deck negates we've got like a few more instants i have an extinction event instead of uh, all three shadows verdicts which is good for the dragon i have four sharks so uh, i still think andre is favored here for match three but we've got a chance at least if i was playing the stock version i would just get farmed right <laughs> what a wild stream. Keep up the mediocre work smile.
Oh my days. I mean, this is just straight up a pile of my best cards, but I have no blue mana. Horrible hand? Well, I think it's a pretty good hand when you know your opponent's playing... playing Flash. But we need blue mana. I think, I, I mean, I have it on the play Haven, right? What are you going to do? I'm keeping it, guys. Don't at me. Believe? Sometimes you got to believe. I think it's an unfavored matchup, so let's let's keep our hands that can actually that can actually win somehow. Wizards, hello? <clears throat> I mean, to be fair, Andre's deck doesn't do anything, right? Or it, it doesn't do anything that two Heartless Acts can't slow down, that's for sure. So we have time to find this blue mana. Well, chatters? Nope. <clears throat> There's no disputes, right? The good thing is that if, if we get through all 80 cards in our deck, we will find the blue source. I think we have to take another hit, man. It's brutal, innit? Mm -mm -mm -mm. 
Okay. <clears throat> we desperately wanted another blue source there. If I cast a haven, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Lose the Gadwick? No, I think it's okay, man. Still only got one blue that this is horrible. <clears throat> This is so sad, man. I can't even make a fucking thing. I can't even make a tutu. <laughs> Taking until turn eight to get our second uh, blue has not been not been helpful for our chances to win this game. Going into a counter war? I mean, he still had, a, he had the counter spell up, right? When he cast the shark, so. Andre is a pretty good Gandalf. I cast the flying thing and I have no blue left. Nice, guys. Perfect. It worked out. Not even dead, Pog. Definitely not dead here. Easy. <clears throat> wow, man. Look how lucky he is. Classic Andre. Kept a bad hand, and I mean, dude, this, like, <laughs> that is about the best hand we can have in the matchup. We are f so much more likely to draw a blue source than to mulligan into a good hand for the matchup, because it's the matchup's unfavored. Let's finding a blue is far more likely than mulligan into a better hand. 
or even a comparable hand. I'll be honest, cutting seven cards here is not easy. Is Omen good if Yorian never resolves? Yeah, Omen's good, man. Because Om Omen you can hold up with your counter spells, right? And if they don't cast anything, you just Omen. Omen's really good, I think. Six lands? Excuse me, mate. Four lands. Eighty three now we only have eight we have eighty. All right, pretty large draw. Okay, this one feels a little bit more winnable. Need some sharks though, lads. <clears throat> I don't really have anything castable, do I? What the hell are we doing here, man? Mm-hmm. 
waiting to lose. It feels like that a little bit. It does feel like that a little. I need one of my, f my I need like my beholds and my, my sharks, man. Where the fuck are my sharks at? We need another blue. <clears throat> Why, so we can cast a Seagate. <clears throat> Imagine not having sharks here. What a scam. Deck doesn't do anything. I mean, it doesn't die though either, right? It's I'm not doing anything because we need to find our sharks. That is what it is. <clears throat> I would like to have more than one negate also, but maybe that's a bit greedy. Atty does it again. Well, I mean, I want to do it on his turn, right? Because I want to trade for counter spells so I can start using my castle. Because I do actually need to draw a fucking sharks or I will lose. I don't mind like trading off counters and then just using a binding on the shark, right? Once the the counters have been eaten up, that's fine. Three, five, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Easy see get. I think playing Yorian is fine now. <clears throat> so now we can, like, we have six mana, we can use Negate and Pay Dispute, or Negate into Castle. Seems fine. I just can't draw any of my sharks, guys. It's a hard life. All right, we take six. Dun, 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 dun. Hmm. 
No need to thank me, Mr. Croc Eyes. <sighs> Kling's got to be really good, right? Getting farmed by the pros, Keck. Hard one, guys. Oh, I've got no green, man. Oh my god, what the fuck. I've got no green left. Yikes. I, I don't think I can play into this spear there, though. Mm -mm -mm. Alright, it's time for the classic Yorian. No attacks, no blocks. Coming through. All right, Kling, let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. <clears throat> I wonder if I'll draw a Shark Typhoon before the year of his Lord 2057. He couldn't dispute. I mean, he couldn't dispute on board, but... The great thing about Fable Passage is that you're allowed to crack it at instant speed. Which is kind of gas. Mm Do you rest? We have three, five, eight, eleven, twelve mana. One, four, eight, ten. Fuck. I'm one mana off being able to cast all four of these and pay a dispute. That's very upsetting, chat. Mm -mm 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 -mm.
I mean, I guess taking the taking the binding is kind of pointless instead of just like the heartless act, right? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Yeah. Dead? I don't think we're dead. <clears throat> I know we're, we're exactly dead, right? Ba ba ba. I'm very happy about the the no shark thing. <laughs> Terrible negate. I mean, negate might have been a mistake, but. Oh, yeah, nice. <laughs> right on time. Mm -mm -mm. Classic. Okay, that one was a bit sad. <clears throat> that that was a, that actually felt like a better matchup than I thought it was going to be. I thought we were going to get absolutely steamrolled, but I think if we, well, I mean, I could have played it better as well, but it's not as bad as I thought, which is interesting. Maybe Salta is just the absolute nuts if even playing against like. The flash decks is okay. Mm -hmm. 